Hi, it's Sierra. Long time no see. Um, I'm coming on today because I received my monthly kit from Rosie Posey's Kits. And her YouTube channel is oops, Rosie's Crafty Shack. You can also see her email and um, more of her information is on the back. Um, how to reach her is Rose Akala and um, she's on Facebook. That's usually the easiest way to reach her or you can always email her. She does have one of these kits left. Sorry, this is take two. Everything mess is messed up, but it comes really nicely packaged and it's just her kits are always beautiful. I have a couple of her other kits I'll show you how nicely packaged they are. They're just so nicely packaged. And hey, you can see what they come. They're just amazing. Um, so this is part of her kit club. She does have a kit club. And this is the November kit for the kit club. She does have one of these kits left. This is the needle book kit. And first of all, you get um, what the I like the best about Rose's kits is she usually always makes the base for you, which is awesome, which a lot of kit clubs don't do. Um, so that's one of my favorite things about Rose's kits is she almost always makes the base for you. And it's all sewn with the sewing machine, and she even put on the bottom... Um, fringe uh, trim which is awesome and so you can see there is four inside pages in the front and the back and shoot and then you just have everything to decorate it with it's absolutely beautiful and so it is like a needle book a book where you can keep your needles and doodads in uh, for sewing which I really um, enjoy because I love sewing theme and I love making things that are sewing theme. So I'm really excited to work on this kit with her and we will be on her channel. I think it will be Avril, me, and her um, doing this kit on her channel on November 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So again, that's November 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I think it's a Sunday. Um, this so like a week from today and so this book measures um about eight inches by you know five and a half to six inches and again it's all pre-made for you so you just got to decorate it which is fabulous and she gives you lots of pieces to decorate with. So, um, first of all, you get this beautiful ribbon, which is super shabby chic. I love the shabby chic vintage style, so I'm very fond of that style. So, I'm so excited to work on this. And then you also get this which I think this is going to be great if you put across your pages to put your needles in or behind or even let's say you have some bobbins oh where's the bobbin you can tuck your bobbins behind it after you put your thread spools on I think that would be cool for this um, I also think it would be awesome to do some embroidery on this um, and then use it in here as well oh, I can't wait to play with that um, so you got that and then you also get this beautiful trim I just love this it's completely gorgeous it's so shiny it's a really beautiful piece of trim it's just beautiful so I'm really excited to work with this and then you also have images and in the images, the images are a little bit different. Um, you'll either get the images that I got or that Abro got. Um, so they're just a little different, but they are all sewing theme. And then the embellishment bag, those are just slightly different as well. Um, you know, maybe the button color or size may be a little bit different. So 
Uh, she just wanted me to mention that. And so these are the two images that I got. And I'm so excited to work with these. These are beautiful images. And what's also nice is she does provide you some extra um, batting or felt to put behind your images. I was thinking I could do that with this. Or I could even add this in here in strips for my needles to go into. So there's several different things you could use this extra felt that she gives you for. Um, or you can make a little needle keep with it. There's just tons of stuff to put in there. And then you get lots of um, pieces of fabric, which is really cool because I was thinking you could even do it, you know, patchwork style. Which, you know, where you, you know, um, put the different pieces of fabric, however, on here and then do the sewing. And that could be your base for the um, book. Or, you know, this fabric is just really nice. Like, I think I'm going to be cutting the butterflies out of this beautiful fabric. It's just so pretty. That's what I think I'm going to do. And then also some of these fabrics you can use um, to make pockets with them. Um, or just as, you know, decorative pieces in your book. You know, you can cut a little piece and make a little patch on there and do some embroidery sewing. I think it's so cute. So all these little fabrics are really cute and sweet. And there's this one as well. And then you also get um, another piece of muslin, which is the same material that she used to make the book with, which is great. And then you get some really cute tape measure ribbon, which is awesome. I love this. This is so sweet. I cannot wait to decorate with using this. And then you also get some doilies. Love these little guys. I just love doilies, period. And this one is super sweet. You can make this into like a little pocket. Oh, too cute. And then some little pieces. Look at these. Appliques. This applique is so stunning. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then you also get this gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um, doily which you can cut apart or you can just use it you know as that's going to be the front of your book cover like plain and simple that's it you know there's just so many different things you can do I was thinking if you even put it like this you can make it so it's like a closure you know and put like a button on the back which would be super awesome I don't know. I have so many ideas. I cannot wait for November 10th because that is when we will be doing the tutorial. So I cannot wait to see what Avril and um, Rosie come up with as well. So that is the kit. There is only one left available. So if you are interested, please contact me or Rose. Um, and or if you contact me, I can get you in contact with Rose. But again, there is her email and her YouTube channel, as well as her Facebook information. And sorry, my hands are completely dirty from everything. I'm actually going to come on again in um, another video today that I'm going to release. And it's going to be my gypsy book. That is from one of Rose's kits that I have finally finished, which took me like, oh, th what, three months? That kit's like three months old. But I had so much fun, and I just couldn't stop making more and more stuff with it. But I do want to show you the embellishments that come with this kit. So you get all sorts of awesome little... Um, Oh, this is so cute. This is like a little charm right here. I think it's a little ruler. Oh, I love that. I didn't even notice that last time I did this. And then you get the buttons and then all these little itty bitty teeny tiny buttons on this little um 
what are these called? Bold pins. And this is just, oh, so cute. Oh, she wrapped the little, um, oops, she wrapped that with, um, cotton, oh, cotton, uh, sewing ribbon. Oh. And then I love the buttons. I love buttons, period. But these are all neutral colors, so they just match perfectly. And then you get a couple really cute black pins, safety pins, which is awesome. And then you also get a specialty button as well on another bald pin. So all these embellishments are just adorable. I completely love them. And I cannot wait to make this needle book. So again, she does have one kit kit available and um next month kit which is december that's next month um it's going to be a clutch style booklet it's five by seven and that kit is going to be thirty dollars so if you're interested in that you definitely want to let her know now because she does go run out of her kits fast as you know she only has one of these kits left so definitely let her know if you're interested and hopefully i will see you guys again really soon to show you my gypsy books that i finally finished and um again there is one of these kits left so if you're interested message rosie or me um, or anyone who knows her can get you in contact with her and then again this is her information email youtube and that as well thank you so much i hope you have a lovely day and i hope to be coming on a lot more often now that i have a different job so i can't wait to see you guys again and i cannot wait to show you what i've been up to see y'all soon bye